While we were redoing the floors over at the Reptarium, obviously we had to take the tortoises out because we were doing the floors. So they were actually cruising around BHP the last couple days. And I'll be honest with you, Matilda had an absolute blast. I mean, she was definitely wreaking havoc over there. I mean, a giant 150 pound tortoise running around, knocking everything over, trying to get everything. But now they're going back over to the Reptarium. But we're gonna give Matilda a little time out here in the sun just to walk around. I think she's gonna love it. Just give her a little bit of space. She's such a great animal. I love her to death. But then we'll give her some time out here and then get her back in her pen for today so uh, <laughs> look at this it is crazy to think that there's a tortoise on the planet that's this big and again she's gonna get three times the size so it's just crazy I mean I love this ammo take a look at how beautiful she is Pretty cool, Matilda actually walked over to the trees over here and she's just getting, she's just helping herself to a smorgasbord over here. There's all these trees over here. So like I said, I'm gonna leave her out here and you know, she can eat all these leaves. It's like trimming the branches for free, you know what I mean? If you want a lawn service, by the way, you need some trimming, just go ahead and uh, hit us up over at thereptarium.com and uh, we'll send Matilda out and she'll clean your whole yard up. But my day actually started a couple hours ago. I always launch my vlog each and every day at nine o'clock in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. And then I spend about 30 to 40 minutes just kind of commenting back. I love reading your comments. I love commenting back to you guys. So it's kind of a ritual that I've been doing now for almost five years. And I don't know how I always start my day any other way. The next thing I do every morning is come downstairs, admire my fly river turtles as I'm walking into the, the office room here, and we actually discuss what we're gonna actually film for the vlog today. So, busy day, so obviously I have a tour today. Okay. We have podcasts tonight. I know that we have to get the tortoises back over uh, from BHB because right, of the, the floor. floor. Then we have, uh, I obviously got to go through and check out my ball pythons, pythons. We've got a couple meetings, but that's, you know, not going to be good. Yeah, home. I can grab some crew hits while maybe yeah. while you're in the meetings. I can grab a couple things with the crew. Yeah, crew hits. Um, oh, uh, I know Jay said that he needs us to brush oh, Drogo's sloth, teeth. Yeah, that's yeah. right. He told me about that. Yeah, Drogo's teeth are getting grody. I have no idea how that's going to That's going to be crazy, dude, because yeah. it's, you know, it's what just you guys. Though? You think that we should brush Drogo's teeth? Yeah. <laughs> Does that sound fun? And then let's just see what else is going on as far as, you know, what other animal stuff going on. I don't know if there's any clubbered stuff happening. Okay. Uh, any babies or anything. Yeah, I'll get just, together with anybody yeah. and see what's Go going on. Today. So cool. So uh so cool. So why don't we get started with uh the tortoises? Sweet. 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 Now all we have to do is grab our gear and start filming. I'm kinda 
keep them kind of a little bit like this, you know? Mm -hmm. You can do this. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to brush. <laughs> I, think this brush a, I think this is a terrible idea, personally. I think it is, but they need to be brushed. Well, we do what we have to I do I think here. that, what is it, next week will be a year. Are we going to do... Get out of here. Yeah, are we going to do like a, a, a gotcha year? date? Gotcha date. You know what that is? You know, it's like, a birthday. Yeah, yeah, it's like a birthday. It's a gotcha you know, date. when people get oh, their dogs, they gotcha it's a gotcha date. Oh, gotcha. Like, we gotcha on this date. Yeah, we sing and maybe make them a cake or something. Yeah, what do we do? Happy, happy birthday. Hey, no, no, you gotta no. practice more. <laughs> <laughs> so the idea is obviously we're gonna brush his teeth because his teeth are getting a little bit grody, but it's definitely gonna be interesting because he's not gonna be happy, and uh, I'm the one that's in the spot where he's gonna want to try to bite me. All right, buddy, you just gotta get your breath. Go. Oh my gosh, he seems to like it. Are you kidding Ooh, me yes, right now? Yes, he does now? like it. Look at that. <laughs> this one? Maybe this side? What? You want more water? Maybe. Here you go. Here you go. There you go. Oh, there it is. In your mouth. Been oh. <laughs> well, it seemed to work at first. Now he's not so happy about it. There he goes. Yeah. Nice like brush teeth. Oh yeah. There he goes, Drogo. Oh my gosh! I cannot believe it went so well. It is. It's I going thought, great. I thought for sure this was going to be the worst idea we've ever had. But like you said, his teeth was getting grody, so got no choice. I wish he would try to bite you. That would help me out a little bit. No, I don't want him to try to bite me. We need to brush in the outside of his mouth real well. <laughs> His lips are super clean. I'm gonna try it. I'm just gonna try it. You're okay, buddy. Dad? Yep. I trust you. Okay. There you go. There you go. There it goes. There we go. Good boy. Good Can I get boy. those teeth all good? Can I just get this side one more time? There you go. There you go, Drogo. See, I think he does like it. I think he does. He seems to be loving it. Okay. I think that's good. Oh my gosh, Drogo, you did so good, buddy. See, he's not even upset or anything. I can't believe it. I thought he was going to bite me so bad. Yeah, oh he did God. way better than I expected. Drogo, you did so good. Give him a kiss now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next thing on my list today is actually got a tour, a Brian tour. So I'm going to go ahead and let them in, meet them, figure out who they are, and have a good time showing them around the Reptarium. How are you guys doing? Good, how about you? Good, where are you guys from? Ohio. Ohio, what part? Well, we're from Randolph, but no one knows Randolph. where that Where's is, so Randolph? we're close to Canton. Oh, okay, bye, Cal. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Well, welcome, welcome, guys. I appreciate it. We'll have a good time showing you guys around and uh, and stuff like that. Who's the reptile lovers here? Okay, so Maybe. you're you you like reptiles we too? All do. We all do. Yeah. Oh, good. Then I'm I'm happy. We're gonna Except have a good for time. Spiders. Okay, yeah. no spiders. Like so spiders. Yeah, did you like did you read that? Uh, it says you got to hold a spider before you I can told leave. Her I would divorce her. Oh wow. Thank you guys so much for coming. You guys are absolutely amazing. I appreciate you. And we're going to be doing a bunch of things in the future together. So I appreciate you guys. Drive safe on the way home, okay? Thank you. Right, thanks. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. And it's crazy how things work out. Felicia actually does cool gemstones and stuff like that. And we're going to actually be working with her because she has a company called Treasure Buckets Company. You can check them out on Instagram. And they do a bunch of stuff for the mine that we're going to be doing in the basement. So she can provide us with all of the cool, you know, kind of packets we're going to have and all that stuff. So it's just cool. I mean, not only were they great people, but it's really cool that I now found a great connection that can help me out to kind of make that whole vision a reality. You know, with Matilda really enjoying running around not only outside but around BHB, we always knew that she's going to get too big for the enclosure she's in now. So with this expansion, that's another kind of enclosure I've been really thinking about. And I want to kind of draw it out for you guys what I'm thinking is that basically we would have an enclosure that's about the size that she's got right now, but then there would be a run that would go like this, like this, and then into a bigger kind of circle like that. Now there would be an octagon cage here that would actually be maybe like tree monitors or something like that. So essentially she can like run around here, 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 here. Now this would be all glass on this side, all the sides except for one side. This side right here would actually be a waterfall that goes into this 
you know, tree monitor cage or whatever we decide to put into that center cage. But on the other side, we'd actually have a waterfall, almost like a weeping wall that goes down into kind of a little pond area that's out right here, right? So that she can actually climb into it. All the tortoises can climb into it. So basically it gives them an opportunity to run around this entire thing over and over and over again. Lots and lots of exercise. You might put some kind of, you know, some hills and some different things in there. But also, you know, they really do like to go and soak and stuff like that. Now they don't really need the water because they get the majority of the water through what they eat. But at the same time, you know, Matilda loves being in the water. So we'll have a nice little pond for her with that weeping wall of water coming down. I think it'll look really cool. You know, obviously this octagon cage will really be just a display enclosure because you won't be able to get to it because it'll be surrounded by a tortoise pen. We'll have the same size kind of, you know, boundary, you know, wall that goes all the way around this whole thing. Maybe have a couple doors in here so that we can open up and stuff like that so that, you know, kids can go inside there or we can bring them out and so on like that. But I just think that would be amazing. Now this entire thing from end to end, I'm thinking about 20 to maybe even 25 feet, right? So that's going to be huge for her. That way when she does get, you know, 350, 400 pounds, she still has plenty of space to continue to walk around and walk around and walk around. So uh, again, exactly where it's going to go in the expansion, I'm not 100% sure. You got to remember this wall here is going to be bumped out almost 20 feet. So I'm going to have lots of extra area over here that I can fill up. But I think that this will be really good, not only for all the tortoises, but in particular for Matilda, because again, she's 100 and almost 50 pounds. Now she's going to get a lot larger than that. And she loved running around BHB and outside and it's starting to get cold outside. So we're not going to be able to let her go outside. But uh, anyways, this is kind of the idea of the tortoise pen for the expansion of 3.0. As with most days, I've got to go through some snake stuff and I'm starting to gear up to think about what we're going to be breeding here in the coming season. So I'm just going to kind of go through my ball pythons, make sure everything looks good and start to get an idea of the weight of the females and which animals are going to be ready to go here in just another six weeks or so. Moving through the day, guys. Next up, we actually have the podcast. I love podcasting. If you haven't followed yet, go to Checking In Podcast on YouTube. You can also get it on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, all that other stuff. So let's go do this podcast. Yeah, it's got to be battery. Okay, it's got a battery in it, motorized. Okay. And it actually rocks and around. It's got a hump. And it's got a hump feature. Because <laughs> that's all oh, he today, does. Today I had a tour, yeah. and, the, and the guy got, yeah. got humped. It's getting, the girl it's did getting too. bad. Like, we I need to that. That so figure funny. that out. It's not a problem. No, it's hysterical. It's good. Is it a problem? It, yeah. Not unless I you're feel, a female armadillo. It's a good, I feel it's like a, that's not the experience that people want. Oh my God, hey, listen, people I think love it. I think they might pay extra. I mean, who doesn't love when a little pumpy humps your leg? I don't like that either. You don't like that? So that was my day, guys. You know, every day a busy day here. I wanted to take you guys along on the journey. Let me know what part of the day you enjoyed the most. Uh, I'm going to go home now and spend a little bit of time left I have with my family before it's bedtime. And then we start all over again tomorrow. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor. Hit that playlist right over there. You can also do me another favor on this side. and You can hit that subscription button. Have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.